Today we are going to talk about research reports and your first introductory assignment to research reports. So what is a research report? A research report is a paper in which the writer has researched a topic and shares findings and thoughts from that research with a reader. So really it's just looking something up, using resources to help you figure out details about that thing, and then telling somebody all that you just learned about it, okay? So today, the activity you are going to do is you are going to write a paper to me about a topic you know a lot about. This could be anything that you are interested in. To complete, you may use any outside research to help you write it. Your writing must contain an introduction, information organized into paragraphs, and use transition words, and include a conclusion. So it's pretty broad and pretty wide open, okay? You can choose from any school appropriate topic that you are interested in, okay? Choose something that you think you could teach somebody else about. So before I send you off on your own to do this, I wanna review some format, okay? So our format is how we structure our writing. So I'm not really going to give you information on what you need to write for this, I'm just going to give you some information on how you should structure it to where it makes sense, okay? So we first off, we need an introduction, right? So back here, if you go back, our writing must contain an introduction. So we need an introduction, and the format for that, if you remember back for all the essays we've written, is first sentence, we need to hook the reader, okay? We need to have something that brings the reader in and makes them interested. So that's what a hook does. And our hook can be a question, it can be a statement, it could be a story, it could be all of, a bunch of different things as long as it's interesting, okay? The second thing we want to do is we want to explain in our introduction what the paper is actually going to be about. We don't really want to leave cliffhanger there. We don't want to go off and talk about something that in the introduction that isn't actually going to be in our paper, okay? So everything needs to be relevant. I wrote an example of this. And so the topic I chose to write about for the example is skateboarding, okay? Now I have not skateboarded in probably 10 years. I wasn't good at it. I wasn't really interested in it, but my friends were good at it. And so I would walk around with them while they skateboarded. And along the way, I learned some things about it. So this is all from my memory. And I decided to write this, this introduction about skateboarding. So I wrote, did you know that people have been skateboarding since the 1950s. Skateboarding is one of America's most extreme pastimes. It has grown from a small group hobby in California to a massive industry where millions of people across the world are now skateboarding. Okay, so how did I hook the reader there? I hooked them with a question in this first sentence. And then the rest of the information was just some basic information about skateboarding. Now, I didn't need to have a thesis statement in this. I didn't use a thesis statement because we don't need one in this introduction format, okay? All we really need to do in our research report is, or for this research assignment, is just give me basic information in your introduction about what this whole paper is gonna be about, all right? That leads us to our paragraph organization. So it said we must have an introduction and we also must have information in paragraphs. So I didn't put a limit or a max on the amount of paragraphs you have. Okay, I'm also not going to tell you what information you need to include in those paragraphs. I am just simply going to tell you the paragraph organization, okay? So our, we organize our paragraphs in the following way. We always have a topic sentence. In our topic sentence, we always have to um, tell the reader what information we're about to cover in this paragraph, okay? Now, we don't need to explicitly say, in this paragraph, I am going to cover... We just need to start the paragraph off with a um, topic, and then we need to stay on topic for the next three to four sentences, okay? So once we give a topic sentence, then we need our first detail, then our second detail, then a third detail, and then we need to restate the topic sentence again, okay? So I laid this out here in this example, and I want you to focus on, while I read this, did I stay on topic? Or did I get off a little bit? Is the information in my paragraph, does it have anything to do with the first sentence? Okay, so let's see. 
So my topic sentence is, the first skateboard was invented by surfers who wanted something to do on land when the waves were low. They began land surfing in the early 1950s as a way to pass time. The hobby eventually became a sport with people like Tony Hawk, Bob Bernquist, and others, and others making millions of dollars off of it as, a, as professionals. It is simply amazing how this all started as a simple hobby to pass some time and now millions of kids and adults like me enjoy it. Okay, my topic sentence was that I was about to talk about the invention of surfing or just kind of like why it was why it was invented. And then what I did was I stayed on topic in the sentence second sentence. I explained more about how it became a thing. It was land surfing when it became a thing. And then I talked about how it grew. So I would say overall, I stayed on topic here and I gave some good information that was all relevant to my first sentence, okay? My restated topic sentence is this one right here. It is simply amazing how this all started. If you'll notice, um, my last sentence and my first sentence have some similarities. I'm still on topic. I'm not changing topic in my last sentence, okay? So that's all we're really looking for here. And I also used a transition word, and the transition word I snuck in there was eventually. So I made sure that the topic was transitioning from, I was talking about how the sport was something small, and it eventually transitioned and became big, okay? So notice, remember I mentioned just, I just mentioned transition words that, Remember that our um, cold right here needs to have transition words used in it, okay? I didn't put a limit or a max or a minimum on it, but you're going to need to sneak those in. We've worked on this throughout the year, but here is a chart for you that will also be on the assignment page that is our transition words and different ways to use them, okay? So it has like, if you're adding an addition to something, if you're saying all, you can, instead of saying also, you can say and as well, uh, and two, furthermore, all that, all the different transition um, categories, there's a list of words for you there. If you're comparing things, if you're doing cause and effect, all that, okay? So this is our transition word bank. You may use these and others that you don't see on this list in your writing. All right, that brings me to the last point here, our conclusion format. Our conclusion format for this assignment, our conclusion format is just for us to restate the points we made in the paper and then to give one more final point, all right? So I'm going to read off my um, conclusion here, my example conclusion, and notice how I restated my point I made earlier in the paper and then also I make a final point. So this one is different than the last one we made where the final point was us making a call to action. We don't need to do that here unless you write an informational paper where maybe somebody might need to take action, but this one I don't need to, okay? So my example conclusion is as follows. It is remarkable how a small hobby created by surfers would become prevalent in every town in America and across the world. Furthermore, skateboard, skateboarding is now a professional sport and a passion for kids and adults everywhere. Notice I snuck a transition word in with furthermore, and then my final point is that how amazing it is that it's a passion for in a professional sport and a passion for kids everywhere. So that's it. That is how you format this assignment. Go back through and go to the different slides on here if you're ever wondering how to format the different pieces of it. So this assignment is really wide open. I'm giving you a lot of power here to write about whatever you want that interests you. Okay, so take advantage of that. So today you will write a paper to me about a topic you know a lot about. It can be anything you're interested in. So to complete, you may use any outside research. You may hop on Google. You may use a book you have, anything like that to help you, okay? Your writing must contain an introduction, information organized into paragraphs, use transition words, and include a conclusion like we mentioned like in this PowerPoint, okay? Your topic can be anything you know a lot about. So take advantage of it, okay? You could be how to play basketball, how to bake a cake, information on a Percy Jackson book. It could be anything that you are interested in, okay? It could be about, um, geez, it could be about where to sit in class and what the best spots are. It can be about different types of play at recess. It could be about... Uh, recess football strategy. It could be anything that you're interested in. 
you can write about it in this paper. So this is your time to just kind of tell me, be a know-it-all, tell me something you know a lot about, but use the structure I covered in this PowerPoint, okay? If you have any questions, we will talk about it in class, or you may also email me.